What's up guys, Alex here, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling really really great and today I'm gonna be talking about the iOS 12, I've seen guys on Twitter, on YouTube, you have been just searching iOS 12 like so much, there are so many questions that of course you want to ask me and there are so many answers that I want to show you uh, in this video about the iOS 12, so this is the iOS 12 uh, half a week later. So also this video is about all of the devices that you guys are owning, uh, I mean iPhones, but I personally own the iPhone X but just you know don't pay too much attention to the iPhone X it's just basically iOS 12 is on every single device there is no such a thing like you know a dedicated something to the iPhone let's say 6 or 5s iOS 12 is for everything so it pretty much performs the same way so let's start okay so first of all iOS 12 beta 1 it should be a laggy and not so stable firmware but I don't know how but Apple has been working on the iOS 12 for one year if you see if you just take a look at the iOS 12 you will see there are no new like you know this crazy features added to the iOS 12 from the iOS 11 and they have been working only on this performance on the actual you know how it, it runs on your actual device device. Uh, they have been just reimagining everything, just rewriting all the scripts, uh, animations, everything from the core of the iOS and to, you know, to the sides. So I installed it and I can say, I can 100% say that it is more stable than the iOS 11.4. You won't believe me, but in the core of the iOS 11.4, it is not stable at all. If you're going to be waiting for maybe iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4.2, it's not going to be stable because in its core, it's not stable at all. It's it's not meant to be stable. But iOS 12 has been written in, in from its core, and of course, it's it's super stable. I can say, you know. I'm feeling that my device is like absolutely new device because when I bought the iPhone 10, I was waiting for you know a better battery life. This is first, maybe maybe better performance, but it, it didn't change anything. Like iPhone 10 didn't change anything. But now after only updating today, I was 12. It's it's just crazy. It changed everything. Like how I use my iPhone. I mean, at the start of the day, I had of course 100% of the battery life of the battery I mean and now I have 48% and this is watching videos listening to the music and just exploiting this device so much and you know I'm now having a question how can I actually discharge the battery not charge it because I'm not even thinking about charging the battery on the iOS 11 actually I was only thinking about maybe activating low power mode uh, to to you know extend my battery life but now I never use it again on the first beta of the iOS 12 can you just imagine that I don't have to use this low power mode <laughs> I mean the iPhone 10 is performing really really well and I can say the same thing for all of the other devices iPhone 6 iPhone 5s again if you want to watch these videos they're gonna be in the description just watch them the performance is super amazing and animations are super great so finally guys Apple is thinking about this older devices and I'm I'm so happy that they actually can support them because many of you guys are owning the iPhone 5s and 6 and they're so great devices <laughs> and I'm so happy that Apple is still supporting them and they are, can actually run iOS 12 without any problem and now more about stability so when I had the iOS 11 I had about uh, let's say two glitches or bugs per day maybe more maybe less so you know it depends uh, but now I if I have a glitch it's not so significant so for example today I tried Tried calling to my friends and then this whole like you know phone screen had just hanged and it didn't go away but uh, on the iOS 11 it was super cancerous so I couldn't turn off my phone I didn't know what to do after I just searched how to hard reset the iPhone X of course it went away but you know these little glitches on the iOS 12 they're so little you won't even notice them you know as I said before it's just written for its from its core and there are no that significant glitches as there was on the iOS 11 so if, of course you won't notice them so much so finally my answer to the question whether you should update or not so it is 100% you should because you know uh, I mean it's beta of course it sounds like a beta or alpha version but I never judge by the you know the name of the build uh, because here it just absolutely changed everything and I, I cannot say if it's a beta or not because you know it doesn't look like a beta it's it's super stable I can say 100% that it's super stable on every single device that I own 
And of course, guys, before you're going to be updating to this firmware, just go ahead and make a backup uh, to the iCloud first and then uh, possibly a backup to your computer because, of course, you want to have this little, you know, pillow that you can, of course, put um, um, under yourself if you're going to be downgrading for some reason. But I don't know any people that want to downgrade from the iOS 12 because it's super fast, it's super stable and the battery life is great. What What's more can I say? Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for this video. Very little one, uh, maybe not so serious, but I just wanted to give you that point that iOS 12 is super stable. I'm so happy with that and I want you guys to have the best out of your devices. Just the best firmware, the best performance and everything. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And of course, hope to see you around on my next one. <laughs> and peace out.